What's up, Mike? Good, good talk to uh, Malone. And he said you guys had a really good chat yesterday. Um, and I believe like a week ago you said Malone is always fair. Like that's the one thing you can always say about him. What, what can you share about the chat uh, from your end uh, in, in regards to the rotations you're playing? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we had a good chat. You know, most of it I'm just going to keep between me and him. Um, but I guess, you know, uh, you know, he just said, um, you know, he just wanted to communicate with me um, and just talk about, you know, just, you know, what he can do to help me and um, what I what I'm looking for in terms of, uh, you know, my contribution. So we just kind of went back and forth about that. Just had a really good conversation, um, you know, and I, you know, I told him I'm ready, you know, to play. Obviously, um, this year's been crazy. Just kind of been up and down with injuries and. Then you're in and out, you're sick twice or multiple times, you kind of find yourself, you get back, try and get back in the rotation and get a rhythm. It's been a funny year, I think, for a lot of players, but um, I feel great now. And I just told coach, you know, after the past couple of games, I was like, you know, I know you're going to make your reads, but, uh, you know, I, I know I can help this team win games. I did it last year. I've done it for many teams before. Um, you know, I'm 29. I'm young. I feel great. I'm in my prime. I'm, you know, I know I could be better than what I have played too. So, you know, you just have an honest conversation. And he, he pointed out stuff that he, he wants me to do um, and, you know, things that he thinks he's messed up at. And then I told him things I feel like I've kind of not done as well this year that I think I need to get back to doing. You know what I mean? We just had an honest conversation like that and just went back and forth. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I was ready to play tonight, whatever role. I had no idea I was starting or anything like that. But he knows that's nothing new for me. So, you know, it was uh, it's all good. I felt good. I mean, it always feels good when you win, and you, you obviously even and then better even when you have a contribution to it. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, so part of my blessings that I've had in my life have been my uh, my struggles because when you go through it again, it's not something that's new to you before. You know, um, it's not the first time that I've been out of a rotation. You know, in my career, if it's happened a couple times. Um, it's not the first time I've been up and down with injuries. It's not the first time I've went through this or that, you know what I mean? So I was came in the game, they told me I'll start, I was confident. I've done it many, like I said, man, I've, you know, I don't know how else to say, you know, I'm a, I'm a pro, bro, you know? I don't mean to sound ignorant, but I, I really am. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm, I have all the confidence in the world myself. My teammates do, they gas me every time I'm in there. Um, you know, we have, we have a, 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 a very supportive group here that makes it easy. Um, and uh, yeah, man, it was, it was it was good, man. I mean, Detroit played hard too. They gave us a challenge, but uh, we we pulled it out. You know, a lot of times those those games can be so dangerous, man, because they're playing with nothing to lose. You know, they're not they're not going to the playoffs. You know, they're not um, a very good ball club in terms of their record. You know what I mean? But they have, like you said, they have guys fighting for contracts. They have guys trying to prove themselves. And when you're a team like that, that's at the end of the, you know, the thing, you, you go into each game just loose. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Lose? They've been doing that. You know what I mean? So they, they go into each game just trying to work on them, you know, work on stuff, be confident. You know, uh, obviously they're playing to get draft picks. They got young, talented players that are trying to improve. So, like, those games are dangerous. You know, you go against the Pistons, and then they're NBA players too. You know what I mean? So you can't go in there and just sleep on a bunch of pros, man. They'll, 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 they'll beat you. You know, it's happened. I can't tell you how many times in the league I've gone against a team that doesn't have their greatest record and they come in and they get a win. Um, so they got a lot of pros on their team. Um, they're playing loose. They're playing free. And they're dangerous. You know, I mean, they played us hard. You give them credit, man. Like, Cade looked great. That's my first time going against him. Um, he's talented, man. He's got the mid-range. He's got the handle. He's going to be fun to watch over the next, uh, as his career continues to blossom. They got good pieces there for sure. Yeah, he's already helped. You, you, I've seen him already grab some some young players to the side and try to talk to them. Um, he's another guy. You talk about who's been through it all, man. He's been to the highest of the highest and to the lowest of the lows. I mean, this guy was, you know, an all star looking to get max contracts. Next thing you know, he's, he's tore Achilles trying to figure himself out, trying to fight in the league. He's getting ten. I mean, he's he's been through everything, so he's not a bad guy to to listen to. Um, and uh, 
you know he knows his stuff just from when he was at that level. You know, you just don't get that that way, not knowing the game and being smart. You know what I mean? Uh, so, and he gives us grit. He's a tough dude. Everybody knows Boogie. You know, you don't play with him. You know, so he he's he's an enforcer. He's he can hoop. Um, tonight was his first game. He still got to get his legs back. You know what I mean? He's he's gonna be big for us though. I think I really do. So, I'm I'm glad he's on our team, and uh, we look forward to having him, especially in that second unit. He's gonna be a problem. Yeah, they hit some tough ones. Yeah. A lot of tough shots. As a defender and as, as somebody who can, can kind of get the process right, you got to keep the process right. How difficult is it when those shots are going down because the process is still so good? Yeah, I mean, it's draining because, like, you'll, we, we had a couple possessions there where, like, we had great defense and then they just hit a, you know, a three and we're just like, man, what is going on? Because before the game, they're like, they're not a heavy three, you know, shooting team. You know, they, they and then they start hitting three. That's always how it goes, man. Every time they say, like, Every time I've guarded somebody and they're like non-shooter, dude, he'll hit like five threes that game. It's it's like it's every time. So that's just that's the NBA for you. I don't know. I thought we did a good job of just maintaining the course. You know what I mean? We they hit big shots. Corey Joseph was big. Um, he hit some big ones down the stretch. We just stayed the course. Uh, we still knew we, we felt we were going to win that game with two minutes left. We had all you know we weren't pressing at all. Um, especially when we got the big fella in there, man. We going something positive is going to happen. So. That's what happened. When, um, when they trade for Brick, and he's a guy who plays your same position, obviously you guys both have your, your different strengths. Yep. Um, what goes through your head? What kind of mentality do you have to keep in mind? Um, I mean, honestly, uh, it's a, I mean, it's a very vague statement and it's overused, but you know, control what you can control, right? You know, um, I didn't take it personally, you know, just cause Honestly, we just do different things, you know what I mean? So I'm a bigger guard. I, I do a lot of different – I just we, – we have two different games, you know what I mean? So he's only going to help us. If he's going to help us, then, then why not? Um, so honestly, I, I view that as a – that's positive for me. I, if anything, if we're going to keep it 100, you know, because um, obviously like PJ and me were very more similar, honestly, and, you know, then they get brand here and he can shoot. So – and he does, you know, little, uh, different things than I do. So it didn't really bother me at all, honestly. Um, so, yeah, it was cool. Awesome. Thank you, Austin. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe.